Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be playing some Teemo in the top lane, and of course we went for Grass, Demolish, Bone Plating, Overgrowth, with Presence of Mind, Alacrity, Attack Speed, AP, and Armor. The best way to carry on a ranged top lane bully, like a Teemo, Gnar, or Vayne, is to have enough HP and sustain to continue bullying, because bullying is pressure. Once you lose that pressure, your victim starts to... Uh, get back into the game so to maintain our pressure we heal from grasp we also get the extra damage we also get loads of mana back from presence of mind and d-ring therefore we can stay in lane perpetually right now heart still is one of Timo's highest when your items because riot still hasn't nerfed it for range champ still gives absolutely full value to where we can push heart still into demonic demonic gives you more ap the more hp you have so it gets kind of crazy. So Hearthstone is going to be our first item rush. Teemo has great base damage on his E. Even if he builds zero AP, his E has great damage output. And so does Ignite. Ignite doesn't care what you build. It does full damage no matter what. So uh, it's going to be a fun game. Early on, you can take bush control. I don't really want to, though. You can kind of just set up wherever on Teemo. Just be mindful of what you're playing against. We want to position to where he can't hit us and we can hit him. We get the bonus attack speed from being invisible. He started with Q. That's interesting. We'll hit him with the triple auto, walk back. Whenever you hit them and they're near their minions, especially their range creeps, the range creeps will focus you. And range creeps do all the damage. Range creeps do triple damage compared to melees. And range creeps, of course, have long range so they can hit you. Unlike melee creeps, they bump around me like crazy a lot of times the melee creeps even when they're trying to hit you they can't and even when they do they do very little damage so three range creeps is about an 80 carry auto again with the grass bottle now we walk him down we want to get off one more auto if we can i can't believe he started with q that's so weird it was actually trading off decently i've just never really seen a jack start q before i guess it's a good way of closing distance but with this grass build he's not gonna be able to trade off that damage and just sustain back through his d shield if possible, we're going to stand up close on the minions to lower our ranged auto float time so it gets there faster. It makes it easier to last hit by a lot. And again, with another auto, we are tanking these backliners, so do keep that in mind. When you're trying to gauge whether or not you should hit the enemy champion, you have to keep a few things in mind. Are you going to take more damage from their minions than you're going to do to them is the first thing. Second thing is, are you missing a minion to hit them? If you're missing a minion to hit them with a single auto, it's probably not worth it got our w now we can float in single autos on him underneath turret i don't have my blind dart though because i was trying to use it the last hit be careful about that when your blinds on cooldown it is not easy to trade at that point auto into q Oof, we almost took a turret shot there i need to get vision now is a really good time because we're about to get ganked Love to keep poking him, it's just I can't like this. So we can grab his wave and put it in a kill formation. Auto into Q. You can't last hit from there. He's taking so much damage. He's healing my mana. So put him in kill formation, you just make him tie his range minions fire three times before mine can fire once. Cause that's because we bunched him up close to his turret. We make them go super tight while minions normally stream in in a very thin ant line. Looks like a moon is gonna get himself killed here. I'm gonna W in. I'm gonna flash Q auto. I got my blind on cane early to try to save the Amumu, but normally you wouldn't want to have to flash and blind that early. I'm gonna run away with a potion on just in case this turns into a longer thing. And I'm dead. Set unfortunately did have boots. He did have a bunch of gold spent. The gold went to Jax. His wave's pushing back to me though with how we held it closer to his turret than mine, reinforcing waves. So not the end of the world. It is a little bit uh, frustrating though when you get wrecked by your laners, but it happens. All you can do is control your own lane, focus on your minions, focus on what's happening. Thing that sucks is I didn't even get a kill out of it. <laughs> I used my sums and I didn't get the kill on Kane. And then flat set still had flash even though he was already fed he already had a kill he still had a flash to run us down there auto into q we don't want to miss that Ooh, i think we missed cannon we didn't have the right damage output we would have needed blind art to auto into q reset we're gonna miss a few of these I 
can't get them all, especially when they're at weird HP levels. Auto and acute. Our raid's gonna push out. It's reinforcing first. It's closer to our turret. They have a really bad comp. We'll run plated this game with the heart still and we'll be unkillable. Hey, they have 80 jungler, 80 top laner. Even though Jax did get a kill and we didn't, and I had to use my sums to save Umumu, we're still in a winning position over him. Until he has uh, Merc Treads, I think we're fine. My blind art duration is going to cripple him. Auto in the queue. Now that our blind's on cooldown, we got to play closer to our minions. He's fine with that, though. He knows the wave's pushing back to him. He probably wants his jungler to come up and help him. I'm about to have mushrooms so I can set those up. Like get pushed off. So his jungler was on drag, and we see a Kane got an assist on that. We're standing close to lower float time. And we have a huge wave. We want to crash this now. When you have basically two and a half waves of minions or more, you want to get that underneath their turret to poke and abuse them. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this as deep as I can. Kane's kind of tough because he can go through the walls and avoid a lot of mushrooms. We can still get this guy. I think he got that with his E, but look how much damage he's taking for it. We're going to float an auto, walk back, auto, walk back. This reduces the mini damage we're taking. It also makes us not soak turret shots. Our, our uh, poison from our E will make the turret kind of focus us, though, because it counts it as us still doing damage against him. We see Kane going bot there on the minimap, looking on minimap whenever you can, super important. We get a grass auto on him. Every time grass up, if you can hit him with an auto, it's good, especially if you're not missing a minion to do it. His wave is going to push to me here. He has the reinforcement first. We're going to drop mushroom on the wave, run him down. We weren't able to follow it up, so my mushroom just ended up being useless. It was more defensive than anything else to stop him from. I don't want Imumu even over here. He's leeching XP a little bit. Get him with the grass auto there. I still have my Q. Your Q is kind of like your pocket sand once they're up close and they're forcing the issue. Especially if they're a melee champion. Once they commit, then we want to blind them. But if we're using it as a poke tool, we'll kill him here. He goes in for can I throw a mushroom on the wave. Auto into Q, ignite. Notice how that mushroom on the wave did everything for us. It slowed him and damaged him. The mushroom's a big AoE bomb going off. So when an enemy of any kind monster minion champion steps on it, it blows up everything around it. So if I throw it on the minions there, we can nuke him by proxy. He had to give up cannon there. And then I was just going to slowly poke him down underneath his turret. So like I said, even though he had a kill, it really didn't matter that much. I need to make it to this plant. I don't know if I can though. A easy. Easy, baby. Nice try from the cane. Psych. All right, let's reset. <laughs> Having the HP saved us. We have the bone plating and the overgrowth health, the ruby, some health from D-Ring as well. Get as much of heart still as we can afford. We can also gear into tier two boots here. Typically on a range champion, you would always want to be faster than your melee opponent so they can never get to you. You always just pecker them down whenever they're out of position. In this case, since we're playing a bit of a thick boy build, we don't have to necessarily be faster than him, especially since we've already built up a lead against him. Instead, we can just kind of chill on tier one boots. We're already really fast with W as long as we haven't taken a damage from a champion or turret, we're moving 391. That's faster than most champions with tier 2 boots. Most champions tier 2 boots move 380, so we're chilling. We're going to freeze this wave, take it to bush, reduce damage we take, swap aggro out, cancel their autos if they go to hit us. Whenever you are freezing, you want to try to get vision in the center bush, because a lot of times the enemy jungler will try to kill you from there. The only way people can stop you from freezing, if you're good at it, is if basically their jungler ganks you. We're going to put a mushroom here, and we're going to kite this guy out. I am tanking a lot of minions here, and I'm getting creep block like crazy. I think I still win this though. Yeah, we won that hard, and we still have the freeze. I'm running away horizontally, not vertically into my turret. That way we can space it out and not have it full reset, auto into Q reset. This is no longer really a true freeze. We did get his R and a few grass out of him, thus increasing our permanent HP. This wave is really wanting to crash badly. I don't th know if I can stop it anymore. I can try to pull it back. Taking a lot of damage to do it though. So we, we have held it for a moment at least. Amumu, he actually should be here right now. That's good that he's over here. 
He went to Herald. That's not good. Kane might see that. Kane's going to want to come top and kill me since I'm trying to freeze and I'm low HP. Going to get another point in Blind Art. Get closer to lower float time. We get that minion. Get him with our Grass Bottom and the Q Mushroom defensively in between our autos. We walk him down the whole time here. Uh, he's in trouble. I don't think I can kill him. I don't have the damage. Even if I flashed for it. But that was a very good kite out. Make sure you're moving in between every auto. Especially we had that mushroom slow. We had him blinded once he committed. He was screwed. So their jungler's bot side. We can look to hard push this. Yeah, Mumu coming to help himself to the last hits. I see you, Mumu. Go ahead and put one right there. You typically lay them close to walls and in bushes. Places where the enemies are naturally going to walk through. The closest path possible for them to get to you. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's like my first demolish of the game, pretty much. He laid the Herald way too early, though. After this play, I'm going to look for my reset because I'm on full heart still. If You want to be able to milk heart still as much as possible before the team fight stage of the game. He's so far behind. He's going to come back with maybe more gold spent than me since he's backing so much and I'm sitting on 1300, but he's down in XP and all that. Jackson to Teemo is not an easy matchup for the Jacks, and I would go as far to say that any melee matchup is hard into Teemo, even a Darius or a Nasus. Against melee champions who have loads of slows, like a Nasus slow or even a Darius hook which slows, and Darius wants to close in on you to land the hook in the first place because your auto is barely outrange his hook. So when you go to auto, he keeps stepping forward in the middle of your auto animation to hook you. So against champions like Darius, you have to rush tier 2 boots on Teemo. But against uh, people like Jax, absolutely you don't. There's our heart still. We're going to hover our cursor on ourselves to blind him. Or to heart or to uh, mushroom. We want to catch this wave. We need to thin it out. Heart still gives us a lot of health regeneration. So when we are tanking these minions here, you see I'm slowing them down. Coming in and out of bush. And it also cancels their autos a lot of the time. Clear out these melees. They're starting to bring the wave way too far forward. So Jax is now splitting bot. What we should do is take this plate now. I just don't know who's going to come top side. Probably their bot lane. Maybe I can get them to try to dive me. So I'm not going to push. Better off trying to hold a freeze. It's my best bet. So they have four more minions. A true freeze is them having at least four or more ranged minions. So this is a true freeze. We can hold this in theory perpetually if we do it right so now sets here we see one bot we see the Zaya mid try to get away from him there's our grasp and our heart still you're not gonna get cannon buddy oh I think he got it Kane's coming top side I think Seth's trying to come up behind me here I shouldn't have mushroomed the wave. I thought he was going to keep committing for some reason. There's no reason for him to keep committing though. Still might have this in a proper freeze. We'll see. We need to get him with a blind. I goofed up there pretty hard. I'm trying to get away from those minions. The minions are chewing me up. My positioning, I needed to flash sooner. I had a really awkward positioning there. Set was trying to R me, I think. Kind of away from my turret. I need to get down better defensive shrooms there. I also don't know if I got my blind down on this set. I think I accidentally blinded Kane. Got plated now. And at this point, we do go for Demonic. Demonic second item is insane on Teemo if you have the right runes. If you don't go for the Dorn rank plus presence of mind, you will run out of mana constantly. I haven't ran out of mana a single time this game. Not once. You've never seen a Teemo... Not run out as mana as little as I do. <laughs> Never have you seen. Because Presence of Mind plus Dorn Ring together, more than enough mana. So, even though Heart Still and Demonic don't give mana, we have enough mana. It's fine. I wanted that Heart Still. He missed Cannon because he didn't want to give me Heart Still with a stink bag. He's playing Fiddle Support because it's so strong, too. I did a video on Fiddle Support. It's really, really nasty. I'm gonna put that right there take away some of his angles we'll put this right here as well i don't want him to come up behind me yeah he's trying to do it right now he's trying to set up an r so Jax did seem to find a solo kill there on apparently my ash support 
Other than having a Moom on my team, our comp's terrible. Like, Varus mid? I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see what he brings to the table. So they're taking my top turret right now. We'll push this as fast as we can, ideally without wasting my mushrooms, because I'm already low on my shrooms. Gotta preserve these bad boys. Keep one on me at all times. Uh, I don't know where they are. That thing's taking 10 years to proc. You're going to want this dragon too. We need dragon. <laughs> Why are we two people top right now? Are we actually going to give up dragon? There's no way, right? There's no way we actually give up dragon. There is no way we actually give up dragon, right? Okay, what do we get? So top turret versus dragon. What's better? Definitely dragon. And the thing is, you might say, oh, we can't win this fight. If we don't win this fight, we're just going to lose the game. We're not going to be able to beat their comp if they get drag soul. This third drag is going to build into their soul heavily. Plus, we have an Amumu R here. Auto into Q. Couldn't get my Ignite on him. Zai is getting torn up. Oh, you guys run into my mushrooms, huh? Auto in the queue. Jax is about to die on me. Got him with an Ignite Auto. Auto Q. Amumu's playing that fight pretty well. Fiddle needed to focus me, but he ended up going really deep for my backline. We hit him with Q right when he pulls us. He does zero damage. And we win that fight. Dude, that's like the power of Amumu. We're doing so much freaking damage right now. And we're tanky. It's not like they can just rush in and kill me with two abilities like they could on a normal Teemo. And uh, yeah, Moon just holds him still. He front lines why shred him up. It's that easy. You're dead, dude. I have red buff autos. You are dead, my friend. Ah, uh, maybe not. He healed like crazy there. That was some gnarly healing. I think he's trying to bait me in here. I'm getting 66 health back per second from my red buff. Ooh, all right, all right, not bad. Since I went in combat there, I think technically for my mushroom, I lost my red buff healing. Now that it's been five plus seconds, I get my 66 health back per second from red buff. And the higher level you are, the more health red buff gives you. Varus goes in and dies against Fiddlesticks. That's a big stinker move. Should have just came for dragon at that point. Bit off way more than you could chew. We blind him right when he jumps on us. Big Amumu R at the good time. We get him with a Q auto. And Amumu should have that there. Fiddle's out of mana. And they lose Dragon. They really did not want to give up this drag. I can tell you that. They were pinching hard there, man. They were clenching all the might their cheeks could muster. They really didn't want to give it. Very close to demonic. It'll be giving us as much AP as roughly like I think 1.5 AP items. Really solid. That's on the uh, dark pact alone. That's not even on. Like that's just one of its passives. The other passive max health burn, and then of course it gives us the base stats. Keep one mushroom on us at all times. We're never running out of mana because D ring presence of mind OP is so nice, dude. Give me the heart still, baby. W speed up. There it is. Nice. Get down the mushroom defensively. Hits the minion. That minion wasn't on purpose, but I'll take it. Auto into Q. I'm on my W speed up. This guy's in trouble. Auto into Q. Auto. He can't auto anyone. He gets CC'd. That's rough for them, man. I'm going to put a mushroom down right here. You want to put where the enemies are going to walk over. Fiddle's going to want to set up right there in the future. Auto, auto, flash, auto ignite, Q reset. Auto, Q, auto. Couldn't quite kill him. Oh, so close, man. So close. 
That mushroom popped on Jack. That's hilarious. I'll bait this here. Jack just walked into another mushroom. It's hilarious. I kind of need this red buff. For real, though. A little surprised they didn't try to contest me coming back to this turret. I guess they were both low on health. They may not know how much damage I do right now. My damage at the moment is a little bit lackluster. It's not super high. Like, heart still is a huge power spike, but then between heart still and demonic, there's a bit of a lull. You kind of dip down and your, your strength gets kind of low. And But then right when you hit demonic, your power spike rips into high gear. Ah, oh, come on, just die. And we can get demonic. Cool. Coo, 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 coo. It's going to be giving us over 100 AP total. Plus the max health burn. Super instrumental. We could even push for Nash at this point for the on hit damage. Nash alone, even if you build zero AP items, Nash on team is super useful. The ability haste. So yeah, demonic is giving us, like I said, over 100 AP. It's giving us 112, I think. Something like that. About 112 AP. Most AP items give around, I think, 80? I forget. It's like 70 or 80. Some give more, some give less. It's definitely giving more than its fair share. I love it, this item. The only downside is no ability haste and no mana on it. But we already have ability haste from heart still and mana from D-ring and presence of mind. Where we're never going to run out of mana into team fight, as you'll see. Mumu in way too deep. Way, way too deep. The whole team's about to die. They're fighting without me on the weird fights. There was no dragon, no baron, no herald. There was just a random meat, meaty, meat spin fight. There's no objective, just coin flips. Hmm, I gotta speed up out of here. This is getting dicey. Getting a little bit dicey. It might be on Baron. I'm not sure. I don't know if I could stop it though. Could I? Maybe. Oh, whoo! No, I could not. Man, they took that quick. That was 10 seconds or less. Their can is uber fed. He is super duper duper fed. Alright, we win fight. As long as I get there before my teammates die. Yeah, we have an enormous backline with Varus, Ash, Ezreal, and me. Mumu should be tanky enough to survive. We'll keep all of our mushrooms ready for this fight. Push mid real quick. That'll put some pressure on them to catch wave. And if they don't, they lose a wave. And take some damage to their turret. We'll put one right on in the bush. Give us some good vision. We'll put one right there. That's where Fiddle's going to R. We need to space this guy out. I did it with my W speed up. Auto Q auto. We got a defensive mushroom down there. Oh. I'm dead. Well played by the Zaya. She flashed full committed for it. Really not a horrible fight though. Because they're so far ahead. Us trading off gold is actually good. Because we're getting shutdowns. We got uh, a... This is... Wait, 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 wait a minute. Zaya got a shutdown for killing me? Are you serious? We're down so far. But yeah, she got 900 gold total. I believe. Uh, Amumu got 700 for Kane, I think. And that's it. Wow. They got more shut down for killing me than we got from killing them. <laughs> it's incredible. We took f over 4,000 damage there. It's a lot. We were healing back from grass. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, finish this Nash. We could definitely go Randuins. It wouldn't be Troll. Their team's so 80 heavy as long as I kite out the fiddle and don't let him touch me. Zio... She had a lot there, is the thing. She had Gale Force on us. She had R. She had Flash. I couldn't really get away from her.
You never really want to lay your mushrooms directly in front of the minions unless you're trying to clear the wave because the minions will waste up all your mushrooms. Kind of lay them off to the side and then kite enemies around it. And if they don't realize it's there, they lose. And if they do realize it's there, they have to walk around it, which takes away their tempo. <laughs> auto into Q. Auto into R. Set kills the Ash, but we should be able to kill this set. He's moving quick though, man. Auto and Q. One for one, hugely worth it, especially this Ash. Like trading her for their set, massive trade for us. Notice how I'm laying down mushrooms in between autos. I'm using it as an auto reset so I can take up a lot of space in these fights. I need a mushroom right there. Mushroom right there, taking up all this bush vision. Jax is not fed at all. I can just straight up solo him. Smack him right in the head. Kane's looking for picks. I don't think he's going to find it. Oh, he got the flash. All right. Varus misses R. Auto into Q. All right, it's worth, I'd say. Their Kane's their most important player. Their team might make a big mistake. I see where the fiddle is. He's in this area. I need to hunt him down. By by finding fiddle, it lets you go into fights with confidence. Jax is gonna stay and and take. Oh, I can't back now. I Moon mean, just dove turret. All right. I need to get my blind on Zaya. Get our mushroom there, get one here. We're losing so much right now. I really wish a Moo Moo didn't do that because that forced me to stay. I couldn't back for the Jax because if he's going to dive under turret and I leave them, my teammates are going to get butchered. That's good. I get the blue. Jax is probably in the area still if I had to guess, unless he's sitting on a big item purchase. Kane's looking for it. Man, he's about to find it too. He's about to run into a mushroom though. Got him with a Q. Down he goes. Oh, she ran into my mushroom. That's not good for her. Auto into Q. Where are your autos at, bro? I'm dead. <laughs> Fiddle did my whole health bar there. We almost got the Zaya. Fight went. Eh, unless you got the jacks. They may or may not be able to get Baron off that. They're definitely going to get a turret or two. We're going to have to get some kind of magic resist. Fiddle's doing all their damage for them. I can solo Zaya and not even lose half health. And she has double my kills equals CS. But one fiddlesticks are. Look at that. He touched me for a few seconds. Loads of damage. Question is, what magic resist would we want to go? What's an? Eh. I'm actually leaning more towards force of nature for the movement speed. Believe it or not. So our W speed up. Force of nature feels really good in uh, these kind of long, weird, drawn out fights. The constant movement speed plus magic, magic damage mitigation is huge. Need to get some mushrooms down early. There's Kane. Ash needs to press her button. She apparently missed her R. I'd rather give up Baron than let these guys get soul. Hmm. I don't know why when we did that. Take up that spot. Get the autos on Kane, pull him out of the wall, auto Q auto. I think Amumu just missed his R there. Oh, they actually got that drag too. They actually got that drag there. 
I got it back for the Jacks. This game's still winnable, but I mean, it sucks. They got uh, another Flame Drag plus Soul off that. Big Ashar, I'm on my W. Am I faster than this guy? He's moving 425, my God. How is he that fast? 425, what? I don't understand how he's moving that quick. It makes no sense to me how he's moving at 425. But no champs that fast with tier two boots. Nice, got the heart still at least. Sucks that we didn't get much else off that guy. I'm trying to lay these mushrooms up for the fiddle sticks. Kane's falling off, but they do have double infernal on uh, Kazai or whatever. Get 300 AP. It might be best if we just got like Robin on at this point. I'd have to know where Fiddle is if I'm going to do that though. So he's on the left side right now of us. Auto in the queue. Ash R did end up missing. It's close. Yeah, they're really looking for it here. I'll put it right there. It's at best to lay them ideally where they don't see it. That way they're not actively trying to avoid it. If you, if you can do that. We're taking up a lot of space. Fiddle's trying to find that angle. But partly why I'm not over committing and trying to poke them with autos because that's where Fiddle thrives. Maybe you overcommit and he jumps in. I wish I could get my heart still off his effigies, but they move too much. It's hard to do it. It's inconsistent. Fiddle's probably about to ult him from somewhere. Don't know where. Oh, there he is. Auto in the queue. I got the cane thing, but that's about all I could do. Auto Q auto. That fight went amazing. I have no clue how it went that well. I'll take full credit because I got the uh, cane banshees. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic, of course. I, I did get his his uh little shield down but i don't think that made much of a difference in that fight i think a movie just found a big r garris probably hit a big r off of it they committed too heavy to that it might be a game auto in the queue i gotta move here a little bit i wanted to stay and get a turret i don't think it can be done though Leave that right there. Ezreal can get his blue. Oh, that sucks. Ash. Dang. I don't think he could have even canceled her recall because the last half second is uncancelable. But she just straight up died from that damage output. Question is Void Staff or Robidon? Honestly, leaning a Robin on here, but either would be good as a thing. They're not building that much magic resist, are they? No magic resist, very little magic resist. No magic resist, a little bit of magic resist. Because we're getting a lot of AP from Demonic right now. It's giving over 120 AP. We have a bunch of HP from our runes and from. Uh, the heart still. Need to build up some more dynamic shrooms. Stop Fiddle from setting up on any cliche locations. We'll scout them out before he does. Auto into Q auto. Whoa, my AD carry almost died. I didn't take too much damage though. One good thing about Fiddle is, since he doesn't have oracles, all he has is his effigies, he can only clear so much space. Like, a support with oracles could in theory clear, like, ten wards if he has teammates following him. Both an effigy, it's in one spot. It's only going to see, like, one mushroom for the most part. We have a lot of vision here. 
Jax is going on the split too. Oh, Mumu finds a good little pick. I'm not that much on top of it though. Jax is on the mushroom. Got my blind on and that's game. Well played. They got greedy. They got too greedy when we were taking their turret. They needed to kind of just let us take it. Get with the blind Q. Got with ignite. That's game. Well played. Well played. Whoo, man. What a game. Our comp was really bad other than a Moomoo. Having a Moomoo helped our comp a lot. And their comp was honestly a lot better. Their comp was really, really tough. I'm glad I was not Squishy Teemo, though. Their cane was way too fed to play Squishy Teemo until he would have killed me with two abilities. And most canes damage comes from his abilities, not his autos, to where us blinding him essentially does nothing. And that's GG's, man. Some ranged top lane bully action. Let's look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt to enemy champions. Tank, thick moat, top, did the most damage in the game. Barely. And Amumu did the second most. That's why Amumu is the strongest jungler in the game right now, guys. You can go full tank and still do more damage than a super fed Zaya and a super fed Kane. Pretty crazy. Percent based damage is over tune. There's no other way to put it. Percent based damage on Bork, percent based damage on Demonic for me and Amumu, and plus Amumu tears. No matter how tanky the enemies are, they melt all at the same pace. It's, it's the equivalent of whether someone has 10 health or 10 trillion health, they both die in like 10 seconds, that same concept. So yeah, a lot of fun. Let's look at damage taken. We took the second most on our team, not the second most in the game. Amumu took the most of the game by a solid margin. We're self-mitigated, second most on our team, not the second most in the game. Amumu self-mitigated 100,000 damage, my goodness. Looking at runes, huge, 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 huge value. Grass. Yes, it is more for the early game, primarily the first, I would, I would say six levels. You could push it a little bit and say the first 11 levels, but in the late game team fights, it's really not giving you that much value. It, it really is for the early game sustain, constant poke, single auto pokes. But uh, all in all, best build we could have gone with how this game went since the cane was so fed. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.